Hi, I'm Richard Cleveland from Earth School. Uh, we decided to take a little hike today and get up in the mountains and uh, search for the um, sometimes abundant and sometimes hard to find wild leeks. The locals here in Western North Carolina refer to them simply as ramps. Uh, there's a bunch of them here. We've seen more ramps today than probably than I've ever seen in any one place. And right in front of me here is this wild onion. This is our finest wild onion member. Um, much better than field garlic in my opinion. And you notice that the uh, leaves are not like you'd expect of something like a onion or a chive. They're um, big and soft and quite lovely. I'm going to go ahead and dig a cluster of these up so you can take a look at them. The soil's <clears throat> very, very loamy, and so I usually don't have to dig down too far. I'm just going to pull a couple out of this cluster. We don't want to take them all. Ethical harvesting is always a good idea, even when there's abundance like this. Now, some friends of ours told us about a spring right down the mountain here, just uh, probably about 40 yards away. We're going to walk down there and clean these up and fill our canteens with fresh spring water. Okay, so now we're at this uh, spring that some friends told us about. And obviously this has been um, worked on uh, by some people. And the water is really clear and really clean. And the thing I look for that's really important is the water is actually coming right out of the side of this hill. There's no possible way it can get contaminated uphill. And right as it enters this lower pool, it's falling down. So I know that I don't have to worry about any contamination being in this first little pool right here. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off. Get some dirt off of them. You can see just how beautiful these guys are. Look at those. That's incredible. Just incredible stuff. Now, I could plant these roots again. In fact, I may plant a bunch of them at home in the woods and see if they'll take. But I can rinse these off here. And, and here we go. These are wild leeks. By far, as I mentioned before, the finest member of the wild onion family that we have. Mm. The taste is um, very, very crisp, but it's got a lot of water in it, so it's not super strong. It does have a bit of an aftertaste. Some people think these are a little bit too, too strong for them, uh, but I disagree. These are great. And just the fact that they're a member of the onion family means that they're going to have um, antibacterial properties to them as well, uh, both internally and topically. So it's kind of a win-win. And yes, you can eat the greens too. That's a beautiful thing about these. And as far as filling my canteen up, I'm just going to lean it down so that it gets right up in that downward area there. That didn't take long. Check inside. Looks totally clean in there. Right from the mountains of Western North Carolina, baby. You can't beat that. <sighs> just decided to stop for a second and just show you this sea of um, wild leeks or ramps, as they call them in the mountains. I guess they call them ramps because they kind of ramp things up a little bit, you know. Put them in some meatloaf. Um, it's very, very pop for, popular for people to have meatloaf with ramps in them and different things like that. But just look at all these here and all behind me. Now there are other plants mixed in here, but anything, or I should say everything that has this type of leaf on it, um, it's just, just a super abundance. Um, there's a valley down the hill and as far as I can see, even in all directions, I'm seeing a, a, a sea of um, wild leeks or ramps as people prefer to call them. So, moving on. Check out this crazy tree we found. We saw this hiking in and knew we had to stop hiking back. It's just amazing how this thing grew. This is just a, a freak of nature, but you, know, you never know what kind of beautiful things you're going to find unless you get outside and get away from the couch, right? 
Well, that's what we're doing today, and we're still surrounded by a sea of um, wild leeks. And uh, there's all kinds of wild plants, too, which we're going to stop and maybe take a look at. Maybe even some bear poop, just to prove without a doubt that, indeed, bears do poop in the woods. Uh, we found several. Come on up to it. I don't know how I got up here, but, no, well, whatever. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, on we go. <laughs> hey, we just stopped on the side of the trail here to um, do some more collecting. Um, we already have our ramps, and uh, we're just heading down, and we passed this on the way up. This is a, a plant that's called Pedicularis. Some people refer to it as wood betony, but that's not a good idea since there's another plant that is non-related to that that term is used for. So we're just going to call it Pedicularis. It is a very powerful nervine and a muscle relaxer. Um, I've taken the tincture before to help me sleep. It um, seems to work really well, and and I think it may even help with some dreams and stuff. So we're going to take a few minutes here and collect a little bit of this on our way down. There's there's several patches. Um, that we're going to get, but we're going to make sure that we don't take all of it, right? We want to make sure that you know, we're only taking maybe about a fifth of what's here and leaving plenty of these flowering tops so that they can go to seed. Now to my left, look what we have here in the middle of the trail, as I promised before. This is bear scat, and it's all full of grass and different stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if it's got some uh, um, wild leaks in it as well. Uh, in, the, in the springtime when these animals kind of get up and going they rely heavily on grasses and green material. Um, not that they're not opportunists but that's that's why we're seeing so much grass in this in this particular um, sample here. Pretty cool sh uh, pretty cool poop huh? Remember her school is for the, for the whole family so we have to watch our language at times. Yeah. You know Wild food is everywhere, particularly this time of year. This is the time to get out and collect things and maybe can some things. But there's no reason why you shouldn't be having really nutritious salads and stir fries. And, and it's about the 10th of May, roughly, somewhere in there. Um, and so it's peak time. So check with uh, some, some people in your area and see if anyone's doing any plant walks. And get your butt out in the woods. That's the most important thing.